Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. I'm Ryan Shrout. That's Alan Malvitano. We're here to talk to you about mobile G-Sync. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Turns out it is a thing. It's not out yet, uh, but due to a uh, complicated collection of events, <laughs> we are actually able to uh, showcase to you and demo it's, it'll be hard to demonstrate on video. Don't actually, you're, we're watching on YouTube, the same, same thing applies, but we have mobile G-Sync working and uh, or majority mostly working and uh, we've been able to play with it for the last couple of days or so. Mm -hmm. So we need to tell a little bit of the backstory about what happened here. This is a currently shipping Asus G51 laptop. Yep. Right? It has a G751. Sorry, mm -hmm. thank you. It has a GeForce GTX 970M mm -hmm. graphics chip in it. Yep. It has an IPS panel that defaults at 75 hertz. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it, right? It's not supposed to be a mobile G-Sync device, as Correct. it turns out. Uh, however, we got sent some emails, we saw some links on Twitter, or whatever it was, and forums, people talking about, hey, there's this guy who says he has G-Sync working on his laptop. Mm -hmm. And uh, the short version is that a, uh, a, a tech person, a tech representative, a support representative, or an engineer, or somebody at Asus in Europe somewhere, yep. Nordic, I guess, Asus yep. Nordic regions, um, gave out a driver to somebody to try to fix some other problems. Said, here, try this driver, see if it fixes your issue. Mm -hmm. And when they installed that driver, <laughs> in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there was a little pop-up like, pop bubble, a little notification that says, hey, G-Sync monitor detected. Hmm. Now, clearly, that's going to raise some eyebrows. But sure enough, you go into this, he went into the settings, you saw that the enable G-Sync option was there. Yep. And it seemed to work when he ran games or ran demos and, and played and started like yep. something like this pendulum, pendulum demo, demo works just fine. Yep. So we heard that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we happened to have the exact same laptop uh, just an hour away with one of our mobile reviewers. So we had that sent up and then we installed the driver. Alan installed the driver on it and got the little pop up. Greeted by the same pop up. Little Doink. pop up that says G Sync monitor detected. <laughs> and uh, we opened up the pendulum demo and we could switch between. V-Sync on, V-Sync off, and G-Sync yep. mode. And it did exactly what we would expect it to do since we've seen other G-Sync panels here. Yeah, it works. Yep. When when the pendulum swings like this in uh, V-Sync on, you see some judder. Mm -hmm. When you see with V-Sync off, you see tearing. Yep. And when you turn it G-Sync on, you see none of that. Right. And uh, we didn't, obviously we didn't just try the pendulum demo. We ran Metro Last Light, we did Unigen Heaven, we did Crisis 3. Yeah. Uh, we, we played some actual games with it as well to verify that it was providing a pretty good experience. Like a, a, almost identical experience to what we uh, have, have you know, seen, what we've uh, seen with G-Sync monitors yeah. today. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as long as your frame rate's over a certain point, we'll talk about it in a second. So that's actually pretty exciting. It is. And as it turns out, that driver was not supposed to be released yet, and that is why uh, we had a phone call with NVIDIA today and kind of like unofficially, officially confirmed that mobile G-Sync is a thing and that it will be out soon, mm -hmm. uh, and you know we'll, we'll go from there on that. Now, in terms of experience, though, there was one con there are a couple, there are two concerns with it, right? So if you have one of these laptops, feel free to install the driver, but we don't recommend you go out and buy this. Yeah. Because there, there's two issues that are still, there's a couple one of, of them is a major thing, and one of them is a maybe major yeah. thing. Yeah, well the maybe thing, we'll start with that, uh, because that is just, uh, what the G-Sync module does in a regular G-Sync panel is it, part of its responsibilities is it fills in extra frames when the frame rate dips to too low of a level for the panel to handle without flickering like crazy, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not in here. I mean, we took this laptop, we tore it all the way down because initially out of just curiosity before we even had the phone call with NVIDIA, we're like, we wanna know, is there like a, how's this working, right? Is right. there a module in there? Nope, not in there, we checked everything. Okay, uh, so our next step was, all right, well, let's run some stuff that goes down into the lower frame rates. Did that, sure enough, flicker. Like, pretty obvious flicker. You know, so the lower you go, this, this panel is not filling in any extra frames. There's no logic to do it. Like there's nothing, you right. know, there's no G-Sync module. So that's not gonna happen. Um, the flicker is not as bad as it would happen on like a TN panel because this is an IPS panel. Uh, it's kind of a slower uh, refresh the rate. The pixels kind of deteriorate thing. less quickly uh, yeah, on this yeah, than yeah. they would on a TN panel. Yeah, this panel is more susceptible to ghosting. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing is not a very fast response. So that kind of helps it. But I would say that the cutoff is probably like maybe 25. Before you start, you can start to pick up you, some visual. Yeah, you start noticing with it, the right? It kind of starts hitting yeah. you in the face. Okay. And what just happened right there, right as we were talking, yeah. is 
Uh, for some reason, this demo, as I was running, just something, some other background process in the laptop might have made the demo just hiccup for a split second. Ryan can recreate it by hitting the print screen button, actually. Yeah. But it did it all by itself just a couple of seconds ago. Oh, right. Is the other thing that happens, and that is if anything stalls the game engine, which we actually have an entire article written about, uh, a G-Sync flickering article, where the ROG Swift would go into this, kind of get, the G-Sync module would kind of get tripped up by a sudden delay mm -hmm. in uh, in the stream of you know frames coming from the game where if the FPS go instantaneously goes to zero like even a real G-Sync panel almost has a hard time with that right. this just completely goes away yeah, like it just it looks like off. the screen gets disconnected yeah almost. it basically that acts maybe what it's what it's logically doing yeah it basically right. behaves as if you just like wiggled your display port cable or something on your monitor and like it you know your panel just blanked out and came back right right um, and that happens uh, and it happens uh, much more frequently at lower frame rates, hmm. probably because you're kind of, you know, the, you're waiting a long time. You're more likely anyway. to have a zero frame rate, or just instance. something something too right. long for yeah. this to handle. Right, this logic can, you know, it, it's only going to wait so long before it thinks, well, the computer must be off, something, right? It's right. just, eh, you know, hiccups, right? So that, um, that's that's like that's why this current setup that we have here is it, not ideal. It's not a it's not a good user experience yet. Yeah, we don't actually buy it. don't don't buy this with the intention of. Yeah, Becoming because it's not it's it's, it's not you know. it's not a reliable, right. good experience in that respect, right? Uh, so even at higher frame rates, even mm -hmm. though it's not as likely to do it as often, it still does happen. You know, something loads sure. in the background on the game, screen blanks on you. Like it. But if we you showed, take, if we, we have take, video of Unity. Yeah, that's true. Assassin's it, Creed Unity in the article, and just like just kind of like panning around a little bit, and then you know it's loading some content. The CPU gets busy for a split second. The yeah. pipeline stalls. Display blanks, right? So, and I, not I, the best experience. I, I want to reiterate that you know, so we saw like the high frame rate stuff looked really good. Yeah, it looks great. Right, looks the great. low frame rate stuff you start to see a little bit of flicker, and then we have that blanking issue or yep. dropout issue. Yeah. Uh, but it is most of the way there. It, it's it's very good experience overall. Yeah. But I do want to reiterate that we literally tore the entire machine apart even before our phone call with Nvidia, like. Took out every P every PCB in the device. Took the panel outside of the screen. Uh, pull pulled the tape back to look at the Tcon electronics yep. on there. We put looking, pictures in the article. Looking for a G-Sync module because obviously everything we had heard up to this point is no, you can't get G-Sync to work without a module. Yeah. Right. So obviously that leads into the you know the technical demo that we have here is fine. It leads into the, the philosophical debate, like, if you will. Wh where is G-Sync going? What, why can we get this to work and get this nice pendulum demo here right. to work and work smoothly, even if it doesn't have a show like that on your video? It's working fine for us here. How does it work without a module? And our conversation with NVIDIA was, was kind of... It had, they had some useful information on that, right? So yeah. they did confirm that mobile G-Sync is coming. Yep. And then what we have is a prototype driver that was not suppo supposed to be released, that was given to OEMs that are kind of alpha testing this to try to find bugs and issues. Yep. Clearly there are, there are bugs and issues. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, it will not require the use of a module, as we are showing here, but like right. G-Sync Mobile, Mobile G-Sync won't require a G-Sync module. And you know, the, they didn't we didn't really get into why necessarily, but there are some reasons why you wouldn't want it. There's power reasons for an extra yep, uh, yep. FPGA, spacing for an FPGA. Even if you get it down into an ASIC on a piece of silicon, you know, you're still going to have spacing and, and routing concerns mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So there may be a reason for them, you know, spacing-wise to not put it on a gaming laptop yeah. like this. But, but the TCOM in this panel, the actual logic that mm -hmm. handles what comes in, like it might be good enough to handle what you see so far. 25 like the, and above. The amount of, of compatibility and functionality that this is doing. Because it is a module that's a newer version of a module. These things weren't around when G-Sync panels started right. to come out before. This is a module that can handle adaptive sync spec mm -hmm. kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? So there you go. Like It's newer technology, um, but maybe not necessarily new enough to be able to give you like a full hardware G-Sync module thing, right? Nvidia, so. Nvidia claims essentially that because they know the TCON specifically, they know the panel specifically, and right. the combination and the integration of that on each you know G-Sync branded gaming notebook that will come out, yeah, that they are able to provide a better experience than they would if they had to kind of generally support 
a bunch of tampons and a bunch of pills. Yeah, like you can't just say, okay, it all works everywhere now. Right, and I think A and B knows that's the fact too. That's why they started this whole FreeSync uh, uh, certification program, right? You right. Know, versus just kind of blanket supporting. Yeah. Adaptive. It's things. a tricky thing to do. It's a tricky timing so, issue, problem, whatever you want to call it. Like it's not just a turn this on. Right. Right. So it's interesting though. Now we have an example of uh, of a form of G Sync, a not complete form of G Sync, right? Mm -hmm. We're, it's talking about you know getting rid of flickering sub twenty five in particular that works without a module. Um, when we talked with Nvidia about it, it's like you know the assumption now will be for many people is that you don't even need a module in your desktop parts. And uh, what we, what I, what I will say about that is for all the shipping G Sync monitors that are out there for the gamers that have them now that are enjoying them that are using them, yeah, that would not have been possible without the creation of the module. That's true. Because there was no interface to support it, there was no standard to support it. Mm -hmm. uh, it variable, but I it I made variable refresh. Are there even EDP desktop panels out now? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. There may be a couple, and I think that is what uh, you know. FreeSync will be on DP 1.2a plus, okay. right? I yeah. don't know EDP maybe not specifically, but things that implement the uh, optional that, spec for that adaptive spec. sync. Right. So basically, the hardware, like even for desktop panels, like you know. If not for the G-Sync module... You wouldn't have the access to it today. Yeah, you wouldn't have had those right now. But is it, a, it is a very fair question to ask then, what will happen in the future for the next generation of G-Sync yeah. monitors when they come out? Will they require a module? And NVIDIA was, was pretty honest about it and said, we're, we're not, we don't know for sure yet. It may yeah. use the same module. It could use a new module. It might use no module. And it really just depends on how they figure out uh, to work with other you know, scalers and TCONs mm -hmm. to get the experience that they want to get. They did say that, you know, hey, there's other features in that G-Sync module that haven't been enabled yet. We're not going to tell you what they are, but, <laughs> which you know, kind of stinks, obviously. Uh, but they're not going to tell you what they are, but you know, there are things that we're going to do with that or things that we want to do with that that you won't be able to do with uh, a, a kind of a generic scalar and TCON combination. Yeah, you can take that for what you will. You can maybe they're just bluffing about it, or maybe it's very true, and they have some more interesting ideas uh, for monitor and display technologies as opposed to just variable refresh. Well, I mean, having their own logic in the panel that they're, you know, yeah. creating, like they're they're make, they're designing that chip, they're programming mm -hmm. it, right? That's bound to give you some more stuff. Yeah, I, in I the think future, so. Right, so. So we have uh, Alan wrote, and I added to a story about this on PCPro.com. There's a link to it in the description here, obviously, uh, in, on the YouTube page. And you should definitely read it because there's a lot of details there about how the driver works, mm -hmm. how it installs, our experiences using it in a good scenario, our experiences using it in a not great scenario, you know, yep. low frame rates. Uh, the blanking, and then we get into the kind of philosophical debate of what does this mean for G-Sync, FreeSync, variable refresh going forward, mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I think that is a, a much more interesting discussion that we will likely dive into often going forward, uh, especially like on our podcast, uh, you know, where we will debate more of these things. Yep. But for the time being, we have there it is G-Sync working on, uh, or mostly working on a non-G-Sync display on a in a form factor that's not supposed to exist yet. Without a G-Sync module. With no G-Sync module. And, uh, you know, all that was kind of confirmed by NVIDIA. So there you go. That's, that's the story. If you guys have questions, you know, feel free to leave them on the story comments page. We, we try to go through the YouTube comments as well, but if you've really got one, leave it on the comments uh, on the review at PCPar.com. That gets checked much more regularly and, and replied to much more regularly. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll continue to dive into this and see what else we can find out, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.